Hello everyone and welcome to this automotive technology video. My name is Nick Dimitrakopoulos and I am General Manager for Automotive Ethernet Applications here at Andres Vartz. And today we have a very exciting topic. We are going to talk about 1000 base T1 compliance testing. For this, I have invited Ernst Fleming, his product manager for the oscilloscopes. Ernst, welcome. Welcome, Nick. And I would like to start off by asking you, what do we need to make this 1000 base T1 compliance testing? For 1000 base T1 compliance testing, you need an oscilloscope of 2 gigahertz bandwidth, at least. You need a network analyzer. You need a test fixture to connect your DUT properly. You need a probe with at least 3 gigahertz bandwidth. And you need a small frequency converter to connect and convert the DUT frequency with the test equipment so that it's all in sync. I see. And can you please show me a little bit how we can start up this uh, conformance for 1000 base T1? Yes. To do this, you go to the oscilloscope, start the application cockpit, go to compliance, and now you select 1000 base T1 compliance test. Now the scope suite software comes up and you add a new test and open that test. And now you see a list of all the test cases that you can do with the scope suite software fully automatically. I see. And in this list, there are some test cases that they would, they would uh, require a network analyzer. Um, do I need a separate software to control the network analyzer? No, the network analyzer can be fully controlled with the oscilloscope sco scope suite software. But what you need to do is you need to connect the two with an Ethernet cable. I see. And can you please show me one test case to see how this is executed? Yes. What I can show you is the MDI jitter and clock frequency test that requires test mode 2. To do this, select this one test, test single. And now a guided dialog comes up to guide you through the test setup. Now in the first step, you need to, to connect your DUT to the proper uh, section of the test fixture, and you need to connect the probe to the proper uh, probe uh, interface. When you've done that, press next, and now it shows you that you need to connect and set the DUT in test mode two, which is typically done by setting a register. When you look into the scope speed or to the scope, Display in the back, you see that I've done that already. And now you can press next. And from that point on, all the tests are done automatically. I see. I really like the photo guidance on the scope suite. It makes uh, life sometimes uh, much easier. And let's say somebody wants to do a test reporting. Can we do this with the scope suite? Yes, you can do that. First of all, once the test is completed, as you see now, you see the result is with a green check mark, so this is passed. And to get a full report, just press the show report button and a PDF is generated. And when you go through that PDF document, you see the general information, you see the test summary, and you can get all the test details, including, let's say, screenshots that are captured during the calculation of the test and do the execution of that test. Thank you for that. It looks indeed uh, very interesting. And uh, as I know, 1000 base T1 is a very, very new technology. And there are not many chipsets uh, available at the moment on the market. How do we validate our test cases? Our customers have now tested with this scope suite software and with this test setup, with all the DUTs that are out there that support 1000 base T1. So this is the first step and the most important step. Besides that, we are of course working very closely with the Open Alliance in the organization to understand the test setup and to provide our competence in there, as well as that we work with the IOL, Interoperability Lab of the UNH, that um, use our equipment as well for testing. Fantastic, thank you very much for sharing this information with us today. So, on behalf of myself and Ernst Fleming, we would like to thank you for joining us in this video today. Please make sure that you go to our website, Automotive Ethernet Solutions at Roden Schwartz. We will see you next time. Take care. Goodbye. Bye-bye.